Hey Cougars, I'm here in my kitchen right now um, and I need to explain a couple of things to you. Um, first of all, I need to explain this. Since this whole stay at home order <coughs> has started and the school closures, um, I've had to take on some different roles here in my house uh, since I've been home <coughs> every day um, and, uh, and not uh, having to, to go anywhere. Um, so I've taken on uh, what my wife would call the uh, duties of her uh, house husband. So basically I've been um, given the responsibility of making dinner, um, going grocery shopping, cleaning the house. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys uh, some of the things that I've been making and uh, this can give you some ideas of some things that you can do um, to <clears throat> to do uh, some social responsibility uh, cooking dinner for your parents and this meal that I'm pre preparing tonight um, is something that I'm really excited about um, I wanted to show you over here um, I'm gonna be making a pizza um, but it is going to be um, an all meat pizza. I'm going to take the chicken breast and a few pieces of the chicken thigh to uh, stick all of that into um, a food processor with um, some seasonings and we're going to make some pizza dough out of chicken uh, which sounds pretty surprising and it may sound gross. Never done it before but we'll see how my wife likes it. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting up this chicken. All right, everybody. Um, here you can see, I'll go ahead and give you a look here. I finished cutting up the chicken. Um, what we're gonna add um, is some cheese here. Uh, we got a couple of different types of cheese. This is Parmesan and a three cheese Italian blend. Um, I got some fresh basil here, some Italian seasoning, and some salt and pepper. And that's basically all you're going to need. A um, couple of things I wanted to share with you uh, because since I've been doing this, I have um, learned a couple of things um, <clears throat> here in the kitchen that I didn't know before. Um, <clears throat> one of those things is that uh, there is a big difference, let me move you over here, between a butternut squash butternut squash and a spaghetti squash and apparently um, it's very difficult to find spaghetti squash in the store right now for some reason uh, because I could not find it all I found was a butternut squash but it's not going to work for what I need to do so another thing that uh, is very important is that when you <coughs> are cutting chicken you want to make sure that if you cut anything else on this cutting board that you clean it very good uh, because you don't want um, <clears throat> to cut anything else on the chicken juice itself. Um, apparently it's bad. And then also <clears throat> make sure that you wash your hands real good after you've um, cut some chicken up. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and throw all this stuff into the blender. We got a food processor over here. Let me uh, show you what I got going on here. And what we're going to do is we're first going to throw all of the chicken in. You want to make sure that it's in small pieces so that it will process easier. And we're going to throw this fresh basil in there. And we're going to throw all this cheese, throw the cheese in there. And then we're going to put some Italian seasoning. Um, I'm just going to eye this out. Hopefully I'm doing all right with this. Some black pepper, a um, little bit of salt. Okay, now I'm going to cover this thing up and 
I am going to blend it. All right, what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna make a uh, deep dish pan pizza here. If you have a round pizza pan, you can do a round pizza pan. I'm gonna cover the bottom of this thing with oil. Um, and then I'm also gonna put a little oil on my hands um, just so that I can mix this stuff up without the chicken sticking to my fingers. Um, so this is what it looks like once it's all blended up. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this onto the pan. Make sure that we get it all out. And what I have to do now is I'm gonna have to form this stuff into a pizza crust. So what this reminds me of is or makes me think of is the way they might make chicken nuggets taking a whole bunch of chicken blending it up and then forming it into nuggets so i could probably make some chicken nuggets with this stuff too but i'm going to be making um, a deep dish pizza so as soon as i finish getting this all laid out <laughs> and turn into a pizza crust. Um, we'll add any of the toppings that we wanna add. All right, everybody, I had misspoke earlier. Um, one of the things that you're gonna have to do before uh, you <clears throat> go ahead and uh, put these toppings on is we gotta cook this crust. You're gonna set the oven to uh, 450, okay? Um, we're gonna get that oven heated up. And while the oven's getting heated up, what I've done um, is I have uh, cut up some uh, mushrooms that I'm gonna put on top of the pizza. Uh, we have some red peppers here that I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna just do a few more slices of the red peppers. And then along with the red peppers, we're going to do uh, some pepperoni and maybe some hard salami. I'm just looking for random things in the refrigerator to throw on this pizza. Um, and that's the cool thing about making a pizza. You can make a pizza and uh, pretty much throw whatever you want on that pizza. So you can put anything that you want on your pizza. You can put, um, you know, basil. Um, you can put um, <clears throat> different uh, meats on there if you want to make it more of a meat pizza. Uh, but just <clears throat> be creative. Uh, this is going to be the uh, sauce that we use uh, for the pizza itself uh, once that crust is finished. All right, everybody. The oven is preheated to uh, 450. Um, just want to show you the finished product here. We've got our chicken crust. We're going to throw that into the oven right now for about 15 minutes. And then when we get it out, we can start uh, topping it and then throw it back into the oven um, so that uh, we can finish up our pizza. All right, gonna throw it in the oven now. All right, everybody, we got the pizza out of the oven. It's time to do the fun part. Now we're gonna add the sauce. We're gonna add some peppers, some mushrooms, <clears throat> some pepperoni, and uh, some tomatoes. Decided to put some tomatoes on this as well. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna take this sauce right here, and we are gonna Break that open. Just got a little bit of sauce there and a little pizza crust. I'm gonna take a spoon, spread that around in there, make sure we get it all spread out. All the way up to the edge of the pizza. And I'll be showing you what this looks like as soon as I get it all done. Hey. So, <clears throat> so we got the sauce on there. Now I'm gonna throw some pepperonis on there. Pepperoni there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw my mushrooms on, spread them across the pizza there. Mushrooms, some peppers. Get all of this stuff spread out on pizza. We got our red peppers here. I'm 
I'm gonna put a layer of cheese on there now. I'm gonna throw a few more pepperonis. Put a lot of pepperoni on there. Put a few more. I need to give some of this pepperoni to the dogs. Oscar. Come here, Oscar. There you go, buddy. Come on, guys. You hear the other dogs coming and running. They know I got a treat for them. There you go, guys. All right. So, there is the finished product. Okay, and now we're going to throw that back in the oven. First, we're going to reduce the heat of the oven to 400 degrees. Throw the tomatoes on top. We're going to get the rest of the cheese on top. And we are going to cook this thing for about eight to ten minutes. And then when it comes out, you guys get to see the finished product.